morning, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to another daily vlog. Have some coffee with me this morning. This is my second cup. I actually slept really good last night. I needed it so bad. i would had several, several days of just not sleeping good. I think getting out in the sunshine, we went on that walk at the park yesterday and all of that, all of that was good for me. I need to get back out. It's just been so hot, but I really want to get back out and start being more active, getting sun, the sunshine and the vitamin D and all that. I don't know if that helped or what, but I slept really good. So, and everybody slept good. So that was a win. Um, David got up early this morning and went to the church. It is Saturday for us. And um, I think you guys are seeing this like next, maybe next Saturday. So maybe we can spend our Saturdays together. Um, but he had prayer this morning at church. So he should be done here very soon. And I also, I fell asleep with my hair wet last night. So it's, I need to do something with it this morning. Um, my hair is so straight that if I just blow dry it, whatever, or even let it air dry when I first get out of the shower, it stays pretty good. I don't have to do much to it if I don't want to. But if I ever go to sleep with it wet, it looks crazy. Um, he should be done with prayer here soon. Uh, and then he has a prayer service tonight. Tonight is the midnight prayer service that they do once a month. So he's going to be a lot of early morning prayer and, and evening prayer. But prayer is a good thing. Um, so when he left, I went ahead and kind of got moving for the day. We've just been kind of, I read my Bible. We just kind of had a relaxing morning so far. I've had a cup of coffee. And now I'm sitting down to get a game plan of the day. So this is what my list looks like. <laughs> We're planning out a whole week of YouTube. We're leaving Monday morning to go see my mom and dad for the week. And in order to do that, I've really been working hard to get videos scheduled, edited, filmed, ed edited, and scheduled so that I don't have to vlog or edit while we're gone. I still may vlog some, but I won't have to. I can take some time off and you guys will really never know because the only way you know is the videos are a little bit more delayed than normal. So I, I, went into this not knowing if I could do it, but I've got a plan and I can definitely do it. So today, in order to make this happen, I need to edit three videos, <laughs> three videos. I need to edit yesterday's vlog. I need to edit a haul that I did. And then I need to edit the Alani energy drink taste test. I finally finished that. So I need to watch all the footage back, figure out like, the order in which I liked the Alani and to film a little clip at the end and then edit that video. If I can get all of those videos filmed um, and then edit this video tomorrow, I should be good. I should be good for when I'm gone. So that's, that's a big, that's a big order, but I can do it. Um, also the other plan for the day is I have to do some food prep, leaving David because he has to work. And so he will be here several nights without us and so I wanted to make sure he has easy meals that you don't have you don't have to like worry about cooking they're already done for him I bought him a rotisserie chicken so we, I'm gonna do um salad like a grilled chicken or rotisserie chicken salad for him all I need to do for that is just cut up some lettuce and make sure we have salad stuff ready to go and then I've also got the stuff to prep some cauliflower pizza crust and some cauliflower pizza casserole that is really easy, but it just takes me getting in there and doing it. And it's a little bit time consuming doing the pizzas because you have to watch them. And, but anyway, it's not hard at all. So, and that'll be nice to have some cauliflower pizzas in the freezer for when I get back too. I love having those just prepped ahead. Um, I also need to prep food for breakfast tomorrow for church. Um, I went yesterday and got all of the groceries we needed for the church. Um, but I need to make, I'm making a coffee cake, easiest recipe ever. I will leave that link down below. It just uses a box cake mix and then you make like a crumble topping with like brown sugar and flour and stuff. It is really good. It's really easy. So I'm going to make that and then I need to prep some yogurt parfaits. I've never 
done this for breakfast at church before, but I think it's going to be good. So I've got the little clear cups. I'm going to chop up some fruit for the bottom. I have strawberries and blueberries. And then I'm going to top it with vanilla yogurt. And then tomorrow, I'm not going to put the granola on until tomorrow, like right before, because I want the granola to stay crunchy. And I'm afraid if I put it on the yogurt too, like if I prep them today, it'll get soggy. So I'm going to have the yogurt and the fruit on there and then tomorrow I'll just top everything with granola. So that I think that'll be great. Who remembers the um fruit and yogurt parfait from McDonald's? That was like one of my favorite things they had. What what why can't they bring that back? Oh um I loved that thing. I loved that thing. So anyway this be sort of similar to that I guess but homemade sort of because I'm not making the granola I'm just putting it all together so I also um another lady is helping me she's bringing like breakfast sliders so we'll have the savory I usually do try to do like savory sweet and fruit as part of the breakfast so we've got she's bringing the savory I'm bringing the cake the coffee cake and then we'll do the fruit and yogurt parfait so that that'll take care of that the other thing that's on the plan today is I need to make sure all of our laundry is caught up because tomorrow evening I'm going to spend that time packing I'm not going to worry about packing today I, I like one thing at a time <laughs> I've got a, I've got a, I've got a system here so I'm going to just make sure everything is clean today I think two loads and we'll have everything clean so that's kind of the plan um it's a good plan we had also talked about maybe taking the kids bowling today or doing something fun with them. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can done right now early. And then if we want to go out later, I think we're still signed up for free kids bowling. I need to check into that um, because I know there, that program, I don't know if you guys know about the free kids bowling program. A lot of bowling alleys um, go in with them and it's like you can sign your kids up for free bowling all summer. The only thing you have to pay is for their shoes. And then um, if you want to bowl with them, you have to pay for that. Um, they have like a family pass you can buy, but we didn't do that. So we may go bowling today. I'm not sure, um, but I need to get a lot of work done. So let's do it together. Um, I think I can do it. I think I can do it very easily. I can do this. I just need to stay on task and not to get distracted. And um, yeah, so y'all come hang out with me today. We're going to get everything done that we need to get done. We are on the home stretch. Today is like the, the light at the end of the tunnel. I've been working all week and we, we can do this. And then we're going to have a nice relaxing time at mom's without having, um, I know, and this is the thing, like, I know so many of you guys, every time I say like, I wouldn't have to vlog, you guys are like, you don't have to like, <laughs> Just put up what you can. Um, you don't have to do a video every day. And I know, like, I know you guys are so great with that. But I just like, I, I am type A. Y'all know this about me. I am type A. I like the consistency of daily vlogs. I like that my subscribers know that every single day in the morning, you're going to get a video from me. And I just don't want to disrupt that if I can. Now, things happen and people get sick or something happens. So if you ever wake up, and there's not a video for me, don't freak out. <laughs> it's probably just either a, a fluke. Like I had a video go up this past week at midnight instead of 5 a.m. No idea why. It just went up when it wanted to. And um, even that kind of upset some of you guys, like you were worried about us. It's Technology is just crazy. So if a video goes up at a weird time or you don't see a video for me, don't freak out. It's okay. I'm sure it's fine. But I do try my very best, try my very best to get Monday through Friday videos go up at 5 a.m. Central time. And then on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. So that's kind of my schedule and it's a crazy one, but I love it. I love it so much. I love the, the routine of it. I love that you guys know every day you can start your day with me if you want to. So anyway, let's get this day going. I'm going to get some work done and y'all come hang out with me. All right, you guys, I am rocking and rolling. It's one o'clock. I have one more video to edit and I'm almost done editing it. It's the Alani taste test. Once I get this edited, I will be done editing for the day and I'll just have to edit this video either tonight or in the morning and I'll be like done. Like I can't believe it. Um, I've got my coffee cake in the oven. And once it gets done, we still may go to the bowling alley. I'm not sure. It's, some of the kids seem to want to go. Some of them don't. But a uh, majority will roll <laughs> whether they just want to play around here. 
or I might go bowling. I did print out the kidsbowlfree.com coupons. So each of them get two free games, but we have to pay for their shoe rental and then we have to pay for our games and rentals. So I'm not sure how all that will work out, but at least they'll save a little bit of money. Um, once we get back from whatever we're going to do this afternoon, I need to prep the cauliflower pizza casserole and the pizza crust. And I need to prep the yogurt parfaits. Other than that, I'm just doing so good today. Still working on laundry. I haven't really gotten that switched over to the dryer yet, but I've gotten really good going on YouTube. So that's great. I've ed edited all my thumbnails, which is the little picture you see when you click on it. I have to edit. Actually, I think I did. I think I edited all of them. So that's great. I'm just rocking and rolling. So I just thought I would check in. And while I've been working, I don't know how I got on this. Do you guys remember the show Newlyweds? I mean, if you grew up, if you're the same age as me, you probably remember it. Um, Newlyweds, Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson, their reality show. I watched it back in the day, like when I was in high school or something. And um, it's popped up on YouTube. Like there's a bunch of episodes on there. And so now and I watched one and it just like the nostalgia it brought back. And so then I've been like, it'll like recommend another one and I'll click on it. And I've just been like, I feel like I've been transported back in time. Um, actually, I don't even know. What, I don't, maybe I was in college, high school or college. I don't even know when it came out, but I know it was like, TV gold. <laughs> and it just, it makes me remember that time in my life. Anyway, I've been going down that rabbit hole as I've been working, which has kind of helped me like stay focused and listen, listening to that. But anyway, whatever we do, I will take you guys with us. And then when I get the coffee cake out of the oven, I'll definitely show you how yummy it looks. It's, it smells delicious already. There's so much cinnamon and sugar in it. It's, it's always a hit. As we are back home. I totally left you guys at home. I even went back to the car because I thought for sure I grabbed my camera. No, nope, left y'all. So I got some footage on my phone. Hopefully that turned out okay. Um, it is now almost five o'clock. We're back and I need to prep all that food I was telling y'all about. So I did get the cake done. So here's a little video of the cake. It looks and smells delicious. Um, pull that out as soon as, or like right before we left. We had so much fun. We bowled almost two games. The thing shut off on us early. Um, I think they accidentally reset it on the plane. So we, we could have started over, but I was like, oh, we're, the, the kids were done. We bowled like almost two games. Um, and then I had a card that when I went to a ladies event at the bowling alley, they had given everybody an arcade card. Not one that like earns tickets, but just like to play. And it was 30 minutes, so the kids got to play some arcade games, and they loved that. Then we came home, 
and everybody's just kind of chilling. David has that midnight prayer service and he was up early this morning. So he's taking a nap and I'm going to start on dinner. I made myself a protein iced coffee. I need this. I'm going to start on the cauliflower pizza casserole. So I need to grate, but it's easy. But the only thing that takes time, and I've got this one who only wants me to sit down and hold her. Um, she's crying at me. <laughs> You are spoiled rotten. Um, okay, let me pick her up. The only thing about the cauliflower pizza casserole is you have to grate fresh cauliflower, and it doesn't take long. I have an amazing rotary grater. It's super fast, but it just is like a whole thing, you know, of like getting it out and grating it and washing it and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and make that, make the cauliflower pizza crust, and after I get all of that done, I will start on... The yogurt per phase that won't take long at all so still have laundry to do it's done really it just needs to be folded so layla what did you do while you were gone you just chilled relaxed slept yeah she really wants me to sit down and hold her but i have to make dinner so i told david sleep as long as you want and then whenever you wake up i'll have dinner ready so I'm going to go ahead and start on that. I'll show you guys. I do have a video showing how to make that. or I think it's in a vlog, but you can look at the timestamp. I will link that down below. Um, but we had such a good time bowling. It's always kind of chaotic, and there was a ton of people there. But it was really fun. The kids are at a good age. The first few times we went bowling with them, it was really hard. But they've done it a few times now, and they're pretty good about staying near us and not getting too close to the really slippery part of the bowling alley that always makes me nervous. David fell one time really bad. Nate was running onto the slippery lane and he chased at, like David was chasing Nate trying to grab him so he wouldn't fall. And as soon as he stepped over, I mean, he hit hard. Nate did it. <laughs> he was okay. But ever since then, just seeing how slippery it is, it makes me so nervous. Um, but they did find staying back and all that. So that was good. But anyway, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to maybe put on an earbud or something and listen to some music and help me get moving here because I am, I'm not sleepy tired. I'm just like physically tired. I did a lot of like mental stuff today. Stop whining at me. I will see you guys back when I get dinner ready. Guys, here is that yummy piece of casserole. I just pulled it out of the oven a few minutes ago. It looks delicious. This is four servings. We love it so much. I haven't made it in a few weeks, so we're excited about this. I'm going to let that kind of cool off. I've got cauliflower. Whoa, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I've got cauliflower pizza crust baking, and then I just got done. Sorry, y'all. I just got done with the yogurt part yogurt parfaits um i'm hoping that these are big enough they seem kind of small i tried to split that big yogurt from sam's into 15 cups um so it'll be a little bite for everybody i want to put granola on top of this part of me wonders if i should add i have a little bit of yogurt but it's not the same kind anyway it's a little bite um like the yogurt cups are pretty small so um anyway hopefully this will be okay once i add granola um I have fruit on the bottom and then yogurt and then more fruit on top. So I'm going to cover those, stick those in the fridge. Then I'm pretty much done. I've cut up my lettuce for salads. Um, I'm just going to watch the cauliflower pizza crust and I'm going to do some laundry. And I'm thankfully done, I think, with all of the prep I needed to do. So that is wonderful. So I'm going to wrap these up and stick them in the fridge. And then I'll top them with the granola in the morning. Um, they look very, like, festive. I wish I had some, maybe some raspberries or blackberries or something. But anyway, this will work. This will work. So anyway, I will see you guys back in a little while. Hey, everybody. Sorry about the weird sun here. <laughs> it's, it's like seven o'clock. The sun's starting to go down and it's weird in the car, but I ran out of eggs when I was making the cauliflower pizza crust. I thought I would have enough because I had three eggs. I thought I could make maybe more than three, but maybe around three. No, I'm going to need like five eggs. So I finished the three I had. David is hanging out with the kids. Um, he's awake. He got up and ate dinner, and I ate dinner with him, and it was so delicious. Oh, my gosh. 
I know it seems weird, like a cauliflower pizza casserole, but it's truly delicious. It does not taste like cauliflower. I don't know what it tastes like. It's just amazing. Amazing. So we ate that and um, I was, did the laundry and all that. So he's hanging out with the kids um, and they're about to call Grammy and Grandpa. And I was going to run over to Walmart, but we're like a good 15 ish minutes or more to Walmart. So I thought I would just go over here to Dollar Tree. I think they have eggs. I've never bought them here before. Um, if not, there's a Dollar General and there's also this cost plus place that I don't really like. I think it's kind of expensive, but just for eggs, it may be okay. But since I'm, you know, going into Dollar Tree, I might look around for a little while. Um, we need, could use some more water flavorings. I haven't been to the Dollar Tree and got more water flavorings. So we've been to the Walmart. So we have Walmart. Walmart always has certain ones and we're kind of good on those, but the Dollar Tree ones I don't have a lot of. So I'm going to see what they have. So if you guys want a little Dollar Tree haul, stay tuned. And I am pretty worn out. I've been going ever since we got home from bowling and I have not even sat down one time except to get, in the, I sat down in the car and it felt like a vacation. <laughs> so I'm pretty, I think I'm going to crash tonight, but it's been a very, very productive day, which I love. So I'm going to run in to Dollar Tree. We're going to see what they have and then I'll do a little haul. Guys, right, so well, Dollar Tree did not have eggs. I know I've seen like little six counts in there, but they did not. So I went next door to the cost plus place. I do not understand cost plus supermarkets, grocery stores. They are more expensive from the get-go, and then they add 10% on top of it. I mean, there was a ton of people shopping in there, and I wanted to be like, yo, <laughs> Walmart. Especially people buying buggy loads, you know? But maybe they just like the, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I feel like there's something I'm missing. Like, there's something I'm missing because every single price I saw in there was way higher than they had 10%. Anyway, we have several cost plus grocery stores around town and I I just have never I've never gotten it but I got a dozen eggs and I got a packet of just their store brand ranch um, because I wanted to make some more ranch and it was so expensive to try to do the Hidden Valley one in there so um, there was an on sale price <laughs> and it literally I'm not joking y'all it said on sale save two cents I'm like, that is not a sale price. Anyway, but I did get a few things at Dollar Tree. Let's let's just be real. I can't go into Dollar Tree and not get anything else. Um, so I got a bunch. They had stock of the water enhancers. And so I got some that I never tried, and I got some that I know we like. I don't think I've ever had the strawberry pineapple dole. I've seen it, but I don't think I've ever bought it. I also have not had the Welch's passion fruit. Passion fruit. So I got that. I got two of these because this is my favorite. The Starburst Duos. What is it? Strawberry watermelon. It is so good. I got two of those. I've never tried this. Cherry 7-Up. Um, I got, I thought the Hawaiian Punch were nice because they are eight packets instead of six. So I got the blue, very blue Typhoon. I know David likes the Hawaiian Punch. My favorite is the lemon berry squeeze, but it's hard to find. Sometimes you can find it in like big packages at Walmart, but Hawaiian Punch Fruit Juicy Red. I think that's all the ones I got. I got another makeup sponge. And y'all, have y'all checked out Dollar Tree's prices? They are going up. Like not just, I know they've had the $5 deals in there, you know, they're $1.25, everything else. And they have like $3 items and stuff too. But like the batteries, I always used to buy like the ones that say, for high drain devices, like they're a little bit better than the low drain devices, those have gone up to $3. I was shocked because I was going to buy some. And nope, they're all up to $3. The only batteries that are $1.25 are for the low drain devices. They even have Rayvac and Duracell and like some different ones in there, but they're $5 and up. So, or I guess $5 is the limit. I don't know. I was kind of surprised at some of the prices in there. Um, I, I got some gum because I was just in the mood for some. And, oh, I ended up getting some vases. I've been, I told you guys my, my goal is to keep buying myself flowers. And I, re I have lasted two weeks from a $7 bouquet of flowers. They still look good. I bought them two weeks ago. Two weeks today. But I wanted some small vases. And, of course, of course Dollar Tree is the perfect place. I almost ordered some online, and it was going to be really expensive. This isn't a vase. This is, like, a little bottle. But I thought I could use it as a vase. I just need, like, where I can put a couple of little flowers um let me see they wrapped it up so nice and here i am unwrapping it um and then i got this vase pretty 
I got one more. This one's a little bit wider at the top, but it's still small. I have a couple of vases and they're large. And so I needed some stuff for like small little bouquets. Cause I, I like to take the smaller, like $7 bouquets at Kroger, Walmart or whatever, and divide them up into several small little things and put them around the house. It's been so nice to have fresh flowers. But anyway, that was my very exciting haul. Um, I'm going to go back home. I'm going to finish the cauliflower pizzas, hang out with David for a little while before he's got to go back to midnight prayer. And I'm going to go to bed. Normally, like, I always think I'm not going to be able to sleep when he's at prayer because he's coming in at, like, you know, one in the morning or something. But, y'all, I, I normally don't even hear him. And Layla has gotten to where she used to, like... <laughs> any little noise she would be all over the place in her old age with I guess her he sometimes I feel like she hears just as good but when she's asleep she don't even <laughs> she's just like whatever <laughs> so anyway um maybe I can read a little bit I haven't got to read it all today so I need to catch up on my reading and just kind of relax a little bit tomorrow is going to be busy with church and then I need to pack and all of that and I need to edit one more video so I can do it. I'm so close. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the week of editing that I did before we left. Um, and I love being able to do that, like work ahead a little bit. It kind of feels like I'm doing like, um, I don't know, like when you're, when you're going on vacation and your teacher would like give you work to work on ahead of time. I just, I, that felt so productive to me. Like, oh my gosh, I'm working ahead and that they can take time off. That's kind of how it feels now. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We had such a good day. So productive. It's just so fun doing the bowling and all that. Although I never will do more than one game with the kids until they get a little bit older. After one game, they were done. <laughs> they were so done. And I'm like, we paid for two. Um, so it was like a, a little um, good thing that that thing quit on us. Like we were over halfway and it just went off. Um, so it even gave us the option to restart and we're like, no, we're, we're done. <laughs> so anyway, I love you guys. If you made it this far, give me a, I need to study the emojis and figure out what, give me a pizza emoji, a pizza for dinner. Give me a pizza emoji. If you made it this far and thank you for watching to the end, give the video a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe. If you're new, leave me a comment. I'll see y'all later. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you